Hey guys, my name is Brittany. Um, I am saved and redeemed by my Savior Jesus Christ. All glory to God. Um, today I just want to talk to you about the good news. The good news of Jesus Christ. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, well that's pretty simple. Everybody knows, you know, about the good news. Jesus came here, died on the cross, saved for our sins. Yes, but I want to go into a little more detail about it. Um, so, I just want to start with what was God's initial plan when he created us? You know, did he create us with the intentions of us, you know, being sinners struggling forever? No, no I don't think so. Um, let's go back to Genesis 1.26. God, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. So God created us for an intimate relationship with him. You know, that's that's what he wanted. He would he wanted us to be intimate with him um, but then sin came into the world um, so we sinned and because of that we deserve punishment from our just God um, Romans 3.23 says that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God all of us and it, the Bible also says if anyone says that they are without sin then you know they're a liar um, Romans 6.23 says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So thankfully, God made a way for us to know him by sending his son, his only son, Jesus, to save the world by dying for our sins on the cross and raising up from the grave. Hallelujah. So John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Whoever believes in him. You know, we don't have to work for it. We don't. We just have to believe and then follow. Jesus says, those who love me obey my commands. You know, simple as that. Um, Romans 5, 8 through 9 says, God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, for me and you. He died for us. Um, much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. So it is only because of the perfect sacrifice, only because the blood of Jesus, that we are saved and that we are able to spend eternity with God. It is not our own, so no man should boast. It is only by the blood of Jesus. Only by the blood of Jesus. If you hear anyone say anything else, then that is false doctrine, false teaching. We are saved and redeemed through the blood. Hallelujah. All right, so... Excuse me, I had to go old school and take notes this time. Um, so once we believe in Jesus and accept him as our Savior, we receive eternal life. Eternal life forever. And you know, whether you choose Jesus or you choose this world, you're still going to have eternal life. It's just, is your eternal life going to be an eternal life in a fiery pit or eternal life in heaven? You know, I'm scared of hell. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. Romans 10, 9 through 8 says, If you confess with your mouth, so if you speak it, confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. For with the heart, for with the heart, one believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Our, our words, we have to speak it. You know, we have to speak Jesus because speaking Jesus is speaking life. And the Bible says that your tongue holds the power of life or death. So speak life. All right, y'all. So the bottom line is God loves all of his creation. All of us. He really does. He wants each person to come to him. And he doesn't want anyone to burn for eternity. Hell was not made for us. It was not. It was made for the all fallen angels and for Satan. That's who it was made for. But pride, you know, we're pretty prideful. Pride will cause many of us to perish. We must come to the Lord with a humble and repentant heart and childlike faith, believing Jesus is who he says he is and that he is able and willing to save anyone who comes to him. You know, it is, it is truly his will for his children to be saved. That is his will. That's what he wants. That's what he yearns for. He rejoices over us when we come to him. He rejoices over us. So turn to him, people. Turn to him. He is raising up an army and he is coming back soon. Coming back soon. Oh, praise you, Lord Jesus. All right, I just want to pray for us, guys. 
Oh, Father God, thank you. Thank you for giving me the courage to do these videos. Thank you for putting the words in my mouth because what I speak is not for me. I could not do this without you. I pray for anyone who may be watching this that does not know you as their Lord and Savior. I pray that today will be the day that they come to you with that humble and repentant heart and say, Lord Jesus, I want to know you and I want to serve you and I want to worship you all the days of my life. And I know that once they do that, you will accept them with open arms like a good loving father. And Lord Jesus, I also want to pray for those of us who know you as our Lord and Savior, but, but we've kind of backslidden a little bit. You know, so I, I pray today that these people will rededicate their life to you. And I would also like to rededicate my life to you, Lord. You are so worthy of it all, Jesus. We love you and we worship you. Please forgive me for my sins. Oh, you are so good, Jesus. You are so good. God bless everyone watching this video. God bless you all. In Jesus' name.